Hey Pisces, it's Ashley here at Fire Intuition Tarot. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of July. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, also a Venus. It is general Pisces. It will not resonate with all of you. Do check your moon and your rising sign for additional messages. All right, Pisces, um, let's hop into this love reading. Let it be great, of course. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do hit that notification bell. You guys know I love and appreciate all of you guys. And so that you guys can know when I am uploading. All right. So I am doing, um, well, the reading I'm doing is a deeper look into your love life. So this can be your situation or your person's. Um, also keep in mind, energy can be vice versa. Um, but this will be someone that you could possibly be dating in a relationship with on and off with um, married to separated from, you know, your situation. So let's hop into this reading. Let's see what we got. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. All right. Also, for the month of July, case of the X is $35. All that info is below. All right, Pisces, let it be great. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Um, you guys had some very heavy energy the other day. I had did your reading, and then um, I was like, damn, Pisces. In the middle of the reading, I was like, damn, I was like, I don't even want to even upload this. I was like, I, then it's like, as soon as I got done with the reading, I don't know what happened. Like, I uploaded it, and all the signs were up there, but yours. And I'm like, where is Pisces reading at? Like, I still can't, like, I don't know. Maybe I deleted it and thought I uploaded it. I don't know. So I was like, maybe that was just not the message, but it was very heavy energy. So I just hope you guys are doing okay, Pisces. I know you guys have been through hell and back um, lately in your love life. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's coming in. All right, Pisces, let it be great. All right, Pisces. So um, the person you are dealing with and what they are all about, we have the three of cups and we have the six of wands. So someone could possibly be um, wanting to um, come back together, like have a reunion with you. Okay, three of cups, six of wands. This can be a possible, um, like you guys, uh, like coming back together, happy, celebrating. Maybe you guys seen each other for the holiday or over the holiday with that three of cups and that six of wands. You know, maybe you guys are around a lot of people and just talking and interacting. But um, for a lot of you guys, maybe you're dealing with another water sign. Hmm. We have the two of swords reverse that came out on top of this three of cups. So if the relationship was like stuck and stagnated, nothing was happening, happening, it looks like someone is wanting to come out of that energy with you. All right. Um, someone was trying to avoid situations or just wasn't saying nothing. Maybe you didn't know where you stood with that person. Let's see why this six of wands is here. Going to the six of wands for Pisces. Four of swords reverse. So maybe someone had an awakening or, you know, realized something. The six of wands could be one or two things. So I'm going to go into this four of swords. Maybe someone realizes like you guys were stuck and stagnant and they're just like, mm, okay, like I wanted to come together, but I don't, even though the six of wands is about forward movement, but we have that four of swords reverse and that's like an energy of someone awakening to something, someone being tired, you know, it's like, it's just been a struggle. Someone's meditating on something. Maybe they're still thinking about moving forward. Um, but let's see, cause I feel like maybe you guys are winning two different things now looking at the energy. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? The Ace of Cups reverse. So yeah, someone feels kind of different than you do. Okay, our, our, um, our, I don't know, this could be an energy of someone leading someone on. But the Ace of Cups reverse could be like just the breakup, the separation. Um, this can be someone wanting to move forward with a divorce. Maybe you guys finally come together and made that decision. Um, but if not, it's like, they're kind of like keeping you at arm's length or just not really opening up to you emotionally. Um, and maybe you're ready to move forward. Maybe you were stuck in the past. Maybe that's your energy with that three of cups and the two of swords reverse or it can be vice versa. Okay. So let's see what's on and their true thoughts about you. So what's on their mind when they think about you, we have the hangman in reverse and we have the seven of cups reverse. So yeah, they don't know if they want to move forward or not. Someone doesn't know if they want to move forward or not. The hangman in reverse is your energy Pisces. All right. So, um, let's see. I don't know. Someone feels like, I'm getting the energy of where someone is like, would this be a waste of our time? Like, 
should we even give this a try or just, you know, just end it? You know, why is the hangman reverse the two of cups? So let's see, why is the two, um, why is the seven of cups reverse for Pisces? Clarify the seven of cups in reverse for Pisces. Ace of Pentacles. So what's on their mind or in their true thoughts and they think about you is that you're like you like okay so they might be acting weird towards you or acting as if you know like there's no feelings there or maybe they're just not opening up to you emotionally but the two of cups is here there's still a there's still a connection there's still some feelings okay um the ace of pentacles can be them wanting to um make an offer oh they're holding back they're holding back on their offer so like it's whoever this is in this with the seven of cups in reverse so what I'm getting is like they're like okay should I I'm they're holding back on coming back or making an offer because with the seven of cups in reverse they want to make sure that this is the right decision like they're making the right decision like there's love there there's there's a connection um because the seven of cups in reverse can be like someone um knowing this is what they want but the seven of cups in reverse can also be an energy of like. not wanting to feel stuck emotionally meaning like they don't want to just base it off of just oh because we have a connection oh because we were we were in love oh because we're married like you know that kind of energy one of you guys are but these are their thoughts towards you okay so let's see um how they truly feel about you pisces three of swords and the emperor yeah see they're torn they're heartbroken or um this is them knowing that they cause you heartbreak. The emperor, so some of you guys are committed or married to someone. The emperor can be an, um, an Aries. So let's see. Why is the three of swords here? Going to the three of swords. The star. For some of you, how they truly feel towards you, they're, they're trying to heal this relationship. Or maybe they know that you need time apart because you're trying to heal the relationship with the star and the three of swords. Someone's still healing. Maybe they are. Maybe you are. Maybe both of you guys are. Why is the emperor here? The strength card, they're trying to stay strong, okay? So, um, I feel like both of you guys are healing right now. It can be for different reasons or it can be about this relationship. Why is the strength card here? And if this is new love, the queen of cups and the world card, yeah, see? So, how they truly feel is, that's what I'm saying, your person is so undecided. They don't know if they want to go into a new cycle with you are in this cycle all i know is that the queen of cups is in the upright and we have the two of cups they still love you there's love there but they're confused on what they want to do as far as you guys coming back together and having a relationship they are they are undecided okay um and that's why the emperor is here at the strength card they're trying to stay strong for some of you guys either you or someone else has another relationship and that's why that seven of cups is reversed there's a connection there but they're holding back because maybe they offered to someone else maybe you did um but you know again Energy can be vice versa, all right? So let's look at their hidden feelings. Yep, see, look, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Four of Swords. Damn. Okay, yeah, so when they're hidden feelings, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, like, it's like, because we have the Four of Swords, they're still trying to heal over this situation, or they feel like it's best that you guys just put this to the side, or end it for right now, or end it, but... See, it's like someone has a child, there's a baby back there, or maybe you guys have children, maybe they're thinking about that, you know, but I just feel like your person is very undecided. Um, let's see, why is the four of swords here? Yeah, I see the eight of cups. And they're hidden feelings, they want to walk away, or someone is ready to walk away. They're ready to, like, heal from this situation and walk away. Why is the ten of um, pentacles reverse? And she has on a red dress. So, like, they they still love you. They still have feelings for you. But someone is ready to walk away, whether it's you or them. Why is this Ten of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Pentacles. So, that's what I'm saying. They don't know what they want. And I also feel now, looking at the energy, maybe, like I said up here, one of you guys wants to move forward, but the other person doesn't want to move forward. Someone's still holding on with that Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles for security and stability in this relationship. So, maybe you're married and you're like, okay, like, maybe your person was the provider, you know? Or gave a lot to the to the marriage or the relationship or maybe you did but someone it feels like doesn't want the relationship but wants to hold on for security and stability yep see the eight of wands reverse 
and the devil. Yep, see, a dependent, codependent relationship. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands reverse, someone feels like they're not going to get what they were getting before. Or if that person moves on, they're not going to focus on the home as much. So it could be with a Capricorn. There was some type of, it's a codependent relationship, dependent, codependent relationship. Someone got used to depending on the other person or someone was a provider that emperor could have been, you know, providing and giving to the family or relationship, you know, and someone is still like they're counting on that. So let's see. Let's see how they feel about you, how they truly feel. Messages for Pisces, religious factors. So again, see what I'm saying? And then if you guys are married, someone is, someone believes that like a traditional way, like, oh, we're married. So because we're married, no matter what we go through, we're supposed to, we're supposed to be together. We're supposed to stick through it, you know, with religious factors. Because it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for some of you guys, so one of you guys, if you're married, believes in like, okay, no matter what, you know, or let's see. And then this is in their hidden feelings and we have trust. Okay, trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith, right? So, in religious factors, we have, see, the four of cups reverse. All right, um, someone is suppressing how they feel or holding back their feelings based on their religious beliefs. Because I feel like someone doesn't really want to be in this relationship, but they don't want to hear what their family, friends, and everybody on the outside has to say. So they might just stay in it for that reason. And it could be a water sign too, or that's you. And with the trust card, see, we have the seven of swords. So someone's tired of running away from their feelings or holding back how they feel. Um, or there could have been some trust issues in the past with that seven of swords there. All right. Um, four of wands. Or someone just doesn't trust coming back together in the marriage or relationship or moving back in together. All right, so um, Pisces, let's see what is in their intentions. We have the Ace of Cups and we have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like, like I said, this person, they still have love for you. They still care about you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Um, if this is about money, I feel like they're going to give you that. Or um, the Page of Pentacles can be some type of offer. Maybe maybe they're going to take some time and think about it. and like, okay, well, maybe let's start over. You know, let's let's move somewhere let's start over let's build let's lay a new foundation page of pentacles that's the start of something new right so with this page of pentacles here clarify why it's page of pentacles here the knight of cups some of you guys have new love around you um are their intentions are to offer to someone new so this is new love the knight of cups this can be them coming back but i feel like this is new love clarify this um the knight of cups will of fortune in the five of pentacles yeah see so for some of you guys, they kind of want to end it, or this can be you wanting to end it. Um, go into this Ace of Cups. Two of Pentacles, see? So someone's in love with two people. Someone has feelings for two people, and that's what I felt, whether that's you or them. And either in their intentions, they plan on ending things with this new person and coming back towards you or ending things with you to be with this new person. It's either or um, going to this, um, damn, going to the two of pentacles, the death card reverse. See, someone could be a Scorpio. Someone, okay. So this can be you or them. With the death card reverse, there is still love there, Okay. Their intentions are, they know they have to, well, for one, they got to figure out what they're doing. Like, whoever this is, they're undecided. The death card in reverse can be fear in the unknown. Like, they fear that if they walk away from you and start something with this new person, what if things don't work out with them? But there's love there and they love you. Or that could be how you feel. Or um, they're having a hard time detaching from this relationship with you, but feel like it's time for you guys to move forward. But just kind of still stuck on the fact like, you know, because there's love there. This, you guys must have been together for a while. Whoever you got, whoever this is. Like, you guys must have had some type of long-term relationship. So, um, that's how I'm seeing it. So, in their intentions, they're making some type of decision or they're about to make a decision. Okay? Um, so, what, what they um, want from you, let's see. 
We have the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess in reverse. That would be your energy, Pisces. Eight of Swords. They want you to stop overthinking. But, um, yeah, because Eight of Swords is like someone thinking the words in their head. This can be someone in a mental prison, like, you know. But let's see. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Damn. Okay. All right. So, I don't know. I feel like this might not be for all Pisces. It might be for, I don't know. Because, like, usually when I do um, content, this seems like a personal message. So, this might not be for everyone. But... With the Eight of Swords here and the Ten of Cups in reverse and this High Priestess in reverse, what they want from you is for you to be honest and stop lying or blocking out the fact that you guys really just aren't happy. You know, like you guys might love each other. You guys both love each other, but you're not happy. The Ten of Cups in reverse with this Eight of Swords is like someone is trying to make it seem on the outside as if everything is great and you guys are happy but you guys really aren't happy and you guys probably both want to move on but you're still just kind of holding on to each other out of love and they just want you to be honest about that or be honest with people about that because someone's still holding on because like i said there could be history there's love you know maybe you guys have been together for a long time maybe it's due to this religious factors remember i told you someone's suppressing or holding back their feelings why is high priestess reverse yep see the queen of wands they, they just feel like maybe it's time for you guys to both move on. And the Queen of Wands, that's your energy. You focusing on the future. You know, the Five of Wands, stop dealing with the inner conflict. You know, don't do it to make everyone else around you happy. Because, like, someone um, are, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, it's like on the outside, they want you guys to feel like like everything is great. Are you? Either or. Why is this going to cut three verse? Yep, see the Eight of Swords. See, both you guys are in your head. Both you guys are stressed out about this family situation. And both of you guys are needing to be honest with everyone and just let everyone know, like, where this relationship stands. So, it's like, the energy I'm getting is, like, you guys love each other, yeah, but you guys, at the end of the day, are just not happy with each other, you know, when you guys are holding on for the wrong reason. And they feel like it's time that everybody just knows the truth and you guys move forward. But, like I said, I feel like that's not for all of you guys. That just must be a personal, like, this is not personal. I didn't mean to say that. This might just be for a few of you guys, okay? Um, so, let's see um what you guys need to avoid we have the queen of swords reverse and the king of cups some of you guys can be dealing with another um water sign cancer pisces scorpio with that king of cups um the queen of swords reverse i feel like that's you guys getting mad and upset over this separation or breakup um with this person but let's see because the queen of swords reverse can be an ex it can be another woman it can be someone coming in between you guys' relationship. I actually feel like someone has came in between. This can be a mother, a mother-in-law, you know, someone like that. That's why their back is turned towards this situation. Why is this Queen of Swords coming up in reverse? The Knight of Wands reverse. Yep, see, and that's why the relationship has been unstable back and forth, on and off. And it's due to putting someone else in you guys' relationship or there was someone in between you guys' relationship. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Yep, see, the Ace of Swords and the tower and now the truth is going to come out that you guys are ending this so what you guys for some of you guys what you guys need to avoid is what everyone has to say or avoid letting someone come in the middle of you guys just ending our relationship um or just in general stop letting someone come in between you guys's relationship could be with a scorpio um or Sagittarius. why is this king of cups here going to the king of cups clarify the king of cups the nine of cups and the seven of cups reverse Damn, so this can be you or your person. Someone is just, someone had, like is in the Nine of Cups energy. And with the Seven of Cups in reverse, it's like, they're just like, I know this is what I want moving forward. So this King of Cups, because he's looking to the right, he's looking outward. Like someone else has already found someone and is involved with someone. And you guys are just still, like, there's no closure in your relationship yet. Either that's you or them. Someone has already moved on. And I feel like some of you guys need to not, um, what you need to avoid is focusing on this. Like, focusing on what they're doing. Because you guys still have things that you guys need to finish in this situation. But I feel like it's probably affecting you that they're talking to someone else or dealing with someone else. Why is the tower here? Page of cups reverse. And someone's not responding emotionally 
um, anymore. Like, so if you were like messaging them, like, oh, I miss you. I want to be with you. You know, like come see me. It's like they stopped doing that or you stopped doing that. Someone stopped doing that recently. But I also feel like someone told the other person like, oh, I moved on. I got, I got someone else. You know, and now someone's in their feelings. They might have told someone, maybe the person that's in between their relationship, you got this relationship. But, um, yeah, I just feel like there's just a, um, this might be a bad ending. I don't know. Um, let's look at the challenging blocks between you guys. We have the Six of Pentacles and we have Judgment. So, the challenge here is that with the Six of Pentacles and Judgment, someone feels as if someone did make a fair decision when it came to the relationship because I feel like someone, like I said, still wants to be in the relationship. Maybe someone doesn't, you know. Um, and judgment is someone saying, like, making a final decision or calling quits or, like, they know, like, they, they the decision they made is the decision that they made. So let's see. Uh, why is this Six of Pentacles here? Justice. Libra energy. Could be a Libra. Why is judgment here? Pay the Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Yep, see, someone rejected someone's offer. Or someone's not taking someone's offer or accepting an offer um, with that ten of swords. Someone's still stuck in the past. Betrayal, deception, whatever you guys are going through. Why is justice here? Two of cups. Temperance. Yep, see, someone wants a reconciliation and the other person doesn't. And the justice skills are on here. Justice is here. And that's the challenge. And I feel like if this was you in the past, maybe they try to come back and work things out with you. But you guys were in this Ten of Swords energy and didn't want the offer at the time. Two of Swords reverse and the Two of Pentacles reverse. One more card. The Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like you guys didn't either want that person back in the past. Um, we have Libra, Gemini. We have Temperance, Sagittarius. Going to this Knight of Cups reverse. Uh oh, we have the Three of Cups and the Six of Wands. Yeah, see, so, yeah. Someone's heard about someone wanting to move forward, or someone's heard of the fact someone has someone else. So, someone has moved on and is in a, in a new relationship, or someone just has moved on in general. Yeah, because um, someone wasn't getting the answers that they wanted with the two of swords reverse. So someone was just like, forget it. I'm done. You're not responding. You're not telling me what you want. We have the two of pentacles reverse. There was a lack of balance. You guys couldn't seem to rekindle things and come back together. And then we have this knight of cups reverse. So someone moved on or met someone new. But for some of you guys, I feel like whether this is you or them, someone didn't want to actually bring things back together until they found out someone was moving on or has someone new. All right. So let's see what the potential outcome is from now until the next three months. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and we have the Fool in reverse. So a breakup, a separation, the Fool in reverse is someone still having hope and faith or... Um, Let's see. Let's see why this fool's in reverse. So we're not taking that leap. Why is this eight of pentacles in reverse? Seven of pentacles in reverse. Fool in reverse. We have the five of cups. So yeah, someone's going to be hurt that it didn't work out. We have the eight and the seven of pentacles in reverse. That's the breakup, the separation, the seven of pentacles in reverse. You know, um, not putting the effort in, not wanting the relationship anymore, like not putting in any effort, energy, anything. Someone's going to be hurt. Yeah. Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Hmm.
Yeah, cause some it looks like someone took a risk. Cause the three of pentacles, six of cups, would be someone building or starting something new with someone else. And um, let me see something. That's for me worse. Uh oh. Yeah. We have the five of pentacles reversed with the higher font, nine of cups. You know, let me see why it's temperance reversed. Nine of pentacles. Yep, see, someone just wants to move on and be single or start something with someone else. Um, with temperance reversed, nine of pentacles. So that's the separation. Let me see. The higher font, we have the six of swords reverse, seven of swords reverse. Yeah. And if they do come back and try to work things out with you, it's like if you guys try to come back together and work things out, I just see things still being kind of rocky and shaky between you guys. Seven of swords, they still might be messing with that new person or whoever they told, whoever they're dealing with. It's like that might, that person still might be in the picture. All right. So let's pull a few romance angels for the overall energy. And then that would be a reading Pisces. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And then we have flirt. So you guys might be flirting with someone new. We do have the separation card. So I feel like maybe that's, you guys are going to actually go through your separation. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have the five of cups. See, so like you guys are still going to kind of be hurt or someone's going to be hurt about, you know, the whole separation, split up, whatever. Um, and then we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energies to others. And with that, so like um, some of you guys, like I said, this might actually come together. Like it's weird. You guys might actually break up for good, separate for good, and then come back together and work things out. You know, I feel like it still might kind of be shaky or whatever, but maybe they're just like, okay, this is where my, you know, I love you. Maybe you guys might start flirting again, 10 of cups. But for others of you, it's like you're going to flirt, like, because this is you extending your lighthearted energies, energies to others, to someone else in I just see a lot of happiness, so I see healing once you free yourself and let go of the past and heal this situation, the flirt and the ten of cups, new love coming in, all right? So that is what I have for you guys. Um, if you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Also, I would love for you guys to follow me on IG or on Facebook as Fire Intuition. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Pisces, I love you guys, and I will definitely talk to you guys again soon. Bye.